What's up everyone, it's uh, Chachi Power here with Collection DX to do a review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Smoke Screen. So happy to get this guy, has been looking forward to this. Even though it is a Beast Hunters uh, figure, I'm not really into that line. Uh, the figure is actually cool. And the one thing that really stood out to me, and I should probably open the figure before I even talk about it, is uh, the uh, this figure actually has removable armor. One thing I didn't like about the deluxe figures coming out in this line was the fact that they had spikes everywhere. Totally not into that stuff. But you guys will see what I'm talking about. He is spiky here and there. Uh, if we look back here, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's got these bits over here, and he's got this big, gigantic thing. And look at his uh, vehicle mode. Looks kind of... Uh, I don't know. I think, they, uh, I think kids may like this, but uh, I definitely don't dig this design like that. But there is good news to that, which we will find out in just a second when we open it. But as you can see, it's the regular standard uh, packaging. So let's go ahead, rip this bad boy open, and see what the hell I'm talking about. So here is a uh, smoke screen in vehicle mode with all the uh, spiky bits on there, all the armor, the Beast Hunter's armor. And you'll see it's kind of silly looking, at least to me. Uh, it's all right here in the front area. I guess that's really where you would need it, like to batter through stuff, you know. Um, but I don't know. I just I'm I'm not seeing the the coolness of that. But I I do appreciate the fact that they do that. I'm sure kids would have tons of fun with it. And the armor is nice and rubbery, so you're not going to really poke any eyes out, unfortunately. And uh, right here, it's got this little net type missile thing, which uh, believe it or not, actually does fire. Not very far at all. So let's try that again. That might be due to the weight of this uh, rubber piece here, which you can most definitely take off and let's see if that uh, helps uh, just a tad but uh, yeah speaking of rubber uh, this is a big rubber piece that goes around the missile here it's a metallic blue rubber um, it looks quite um, durable which is a good thing uh, I don't know if these things will end up uh, getting brittle and breaking over the years but it does seem like a high quality rubber and again the front here uh, is also rubber that comes off. Now I don't want to show you the car yet, let's uh, talk about the armor a bit. Uh, it's nicely molded, you'll see you got the grill right here, a lot of nice details, even the underneath has molded details, even though you don't see that part, you'll see uh, it's got some nice molded detail in there. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's check out smoke screen and vehicle mode without all those bits, and you'll see it's actually a really cool looking sports car, got a little bit of panel gaps going on here uh, due to my horrible transformation but you'll see it's a nice sleek race car it's got the stripes it's got the 38 here which uh, you know if you G1 guys out there will recognize smokescreen does have a number 38 in the original G1 toy and it carries uh, all the same colors red white and blue and you got here the yellow headlights and you see a little bit of the robot going on in the clear here. And I like how the windows are just really glossy. Sometimes it's a matte finish, kind of clear plastic. It's really nice and glossy. Um, as you see, the uh, weapon is pegged right up here. It does come off. The hole is there. It's not one of those where the hole gets covered up. Uh, but it's missing a bit of detail back here. You get these big uh, Lexus LFA, if you guys know what that is, uh, type big huge vents here. I will be painting those and the little diffuser here and the twin tailpipes uh, do lack detail. Hopefully, uh, you know, um, some repro label company will take care of that, if you guys know what I mean. And uh, yeah, this is the bottom. Little bit of robot bits going on down there. Overall, not bad at all. And I am digging the plastic. I know a lot of Transformers are coming out with some crappy plastic, but this is actually a really nice plastic. The figure or the uh, vehicle mode here does hold together very well. Uh, there's nothing that's going to come apart even with my crooked transformation here. This is a little difficult in this area to transform into vehicle mode. Uh, if you guys ever mess with this toy you know what I'm talking about. You gotta get everything lined up perfect with the arms and sometimes the arms pop off. They just pop back on. But uh, yeah overall very cool. It rolls. Got some nice low profile tires. It would have looked really nice if it had silver rims or something but this will have to do. I'm sure you guys uh, with paint brushes and paint can take care of that and even the front here is lacking a bit of I mean it's got a lot of molded detail but I think some paint apps would really do it uh, a world of good uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, get them into robot mode and check it out now getting into robot mode is pretty easy you basically just crack open the figure like so get the legs done over here and 
pop this part open. This becomes the arms and the shoulders. Stick your nails right in there. Not even sure I'm doing it the right way. This is just the way I do it, guys. So I don't really tend to follow instructions unless I really can't figure it out. And I'm almost not figuring it out. But uh, smokescreen is not too bad getting into robot form. And this, uh, it's a lot of little bits you got to move out of the way. And you got to spin the waist around. Then get the head to come up. Then bring the doors up here, getting ready to tab them in. Just clean up the front a bit like that. And before you bring the wings up, uh, the wheels, there's these tabs right inside where they go right into the spokes of the wheels. You do have to line it up a bit. Get them right in there. And what that does is that little tab holds the spoke and the arm assembly. Then snap this bit right in the back there. Bring it around. Uh, actually, you do want to move this out of the way like so. Fold the feet down, which are insanely huge feet. Look like big sneakers. And then bring these shin guards around. And just work with the arms here. And you got yourself a pretty good smoke screen here now before we even show you the figure the way it is uh, you do have to attach these uh, this is part of the armor I'm guessing most of you will probably leave it off since it's not that pretty and uh, get the uh, gun here put the missile on and this is the beast hunters smoke screen in robot mode there's a lot going on. Again, not into that whole spiky bit, but uh, I, I can appreciate it. Like I said, uh, I can see how kids would have fun. You know, they can blast each other and have the armor fall off and, and uh, basically get damaged and just have it hanging off. Whatever, whatever your imagination uh, would lead you to believe while you play with this. But uh, me as a collector prefer not to have smoke screen with uh, all this armor junk on there. I would rather have a regular gun with no spider web netting anywhere. Uh, now the missile is kind of long, but it still looks all right. And yeah, so take a look at smoke screen. Actually, pretty cool looking. Uh, I do like the proportions. I like the design. I know there's a couple of people out there that did complain. Uh, I didn't watch too many videos, but uh, there were a few complaints. Uh, I don't have any of my own. I think the back looks fine. Uh, you know, you got this going on here, but whatever. But the front looks great. I love the colors. Uh, the proportions, again, are really good. Uh, I know the arms right up here are really skinny, but it doesn't really affect the look of the figure. Um, having said that, let's go over the articulation. We have the head right up here, which happens to have a bit of light piping there, a little bit of yellow. Uh, looks side to side it is on a ball joint but doesn't look up and down really because of the chin and the design of the head right back here you've got these shoulder bits here that move up and down you have the shoulders underneath with a little skinny arm piece there the upper arm and you have a swivel all right then you have a ratcheted elbow which is really nice anytime they can put ratchets on a deluxe size figure is okay with me and you got the waist so gives you some cool articulation there you got the hips on a ball joint you'll see the ball joint right there you got the uh, swivel and this pops off if you force it enough but it's got the swivel there and you got the knee which has a pretty good range of articulation and you got the foot that just moves up and down no side to side angle there which uh, is a little bit upsetting because if you'll notice the feet are kind of angled this way instead of coming down this way to give it a nice stance. I mean, it doesn't look bad with it, uh, you know, with the legs split like that, but you'll notice the sides of the feet. There's a big gap there. Uh, I think the angles of the feet should have been different, but in any case, it looks really good. Now, I know there was a Takara version of Smokescreen, which was based on the knockout mold. I don't have that version, but I do have the regular, well, I shouldn't say regular knockout mold, but this is the knockout mold that the Japanese Takara smokescreen was based on. This is actually a Dark Energon uh, knockout. And this is how they compare side by side. So you'll see uh, if this was a Takara um, smokescreen, you'll see that this smokescreen is a bit bigger, a bit bulkier, and all that. 
And uh, if you guys are interested in getting smokescreen, you can go on over to bbts.com. And actually, that's where uh, these Dark Energon figures are from also. This is a BBTS exclusive uh, knockout figure. So make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review, guys. Uh, you know, not much more I can say about the figure. Great paint apps, uh, great proportions. I absolutely love this figure. It's my favorite of the Beast Hunters line. And uh, I don't see too many figures coming out that I will like from Beast Hunters. Like I said, I'm not into the line. But I also said that about the Prime line. And I have almost every single damn figure. So, um, again, bbts.com. We want to check it out. And, uh, oh yeah, before I forget. Make sure you check out the written review on CollectionDX.com. Where I'll be taking some photographs up close. And you can see some cool poses. And leave comments. And, and then check out everything else they got over there. Really cool place to check out, guys. And until next time. Bye-bye.